Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. I have to say, out of all of the reviews I've been doing lately, this is the one that I've been the most looking forward to, the most excited for, just because I love this paint job, the fabulous Lightning McQueen. Of course, I got this from Amaze and Boys Toys Co. As always, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bailey Mays at Amaze and Boys Toys Co. The eBay store is called Code May Zero. Link to that will be in the description below. They are in the process of making their own website. Their email address will also be in the description below. So if you want to contact them asking about a specific item or whatnot, you can definitely do that because they have a lot of stuff that's not even listed on eBay. So chances are they'll have what you're looking for. And also you can email them if you want to sell stuff because they are currently buying collections, carded in the package, a loose, you know, it could be used, it could be new, anything. They'll most likely buy it, so just email them with the information and you'll definitely be in luck. And they do ship worldwide, so you're in luck if you're outside of the US. Thanks again, guys, and now let's get into the review here of Fabulous Lightning McQueen. All right, so we have the typical Cars 3 packaging. There's the name tag. On the back here, the description reads, Blindside by a new generation of piston cut racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves to get back on top. He will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. I think I might have this memorized by now just because I've said so much. On the back, we have Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline, Sigler, Cal Weathers, Dirt Track Fabulous, Hudson Hornet, Lizzie, and Taco. I reviewed these guys all before. Lizzie, I don't have her in the Cars 3 packaging yet, but since she's the same as previous releases, it doesn't really matter. Taco, I will be reviewing very, very soon because I just got him today along with Fabulous Lightning McQueen from Amaze and Boys Toys Co. And just so you guys know, Fabulous McQueen here along with Sigler and Taco are the three new cars in case G for singles. It has been hitting stores worldwide over the past couple weeks. I know people in the Philippines have found Australia, Europe, and now just starting to find them in the United States as well. A bunch of collectors are at Toys R Us primarily. So if you want to find McQueen here, Sigler or Taco, check out your local Toys R Us if you're in the United States. And if you're outside, I don't know quite exactly what stores to check, but probably like Asda, Tesco if you're in the United Kingdom, and just like any retail store. You guys know what I'm talking about. And guys, this will be one of the most popular, if not the most popular release of the year, just because it's the iconic and probably best paint job for McQueen in the movie, and some may even consider it the best McQueen ever. I think I might consider it that, like outside of special limited edition releases, but this is so awesome, and you definitely want to buy this if you see it in a store. All right, I'll be right back with this awesome, awesome die cast opened up. Alright, here he is out of the package and he is looking absolutely amazing. Now let's start with his appearance in the movie. I will show a quick little picture from him in the movie but I won't talk anything about it really because that gets into spoilers regarding the plot and how the characters end up and whatnot. But there's a picture of him in the movie. I don't think it really spoils anything if you haven't seen the movie yet, but I just wanted to show you guys that from the movie so you can compare it to the die cast here and the paint jobs look exact. Now, for the, I believe, Mexican version of Cars 3, the paint job is slightly different. I'm pretty sure it says Fabulous, and then there's a Lightning Bolt McQueen, which is kind of interesting and cool. Obviously, the die cast does not reflect that, but it would be kind of cool if they made one just, you know, to reflect the Mexican version. But I do know that some versions that aren't like the US version have that paint job of McQueen. So very interesting there. And speaking of paint jobs, like while we're on the topic here, there has been a huge, huge, huge controversy about the McQueen here. 
and having Dynaco decals. So everyone's been saying like, what's going on here? Why on the back of the package? When you see Fabulous McQueen, he has Dynaco logos and the paint job is a little bit different. Well, that's a prototype image. It was to reflect the original concept ideas of Fabulous McQueen. So my guess is that Pixar and Disney were planning on having McQueen getting sponsored by Dynaco somewhere in the movie. Now, I'm just going to say that does not happen. It's not a spoiler because you can clearly see here that he has Rusty's as the sponsor. But yeah, that was probably an original idea. And then Disney and Pixar sent like the concept over to Mattel to work on their concept for the die cast. And that is what they came up with. But when they actually got the official like images and everything, they changed it to Rusty's. And they just haven't gotten around to updating the marketing image that you see on Amazon, for example, or on the back of some of these packages. I really wish they would change it because it has been causing a lot of confusion lately. Now, to provide some evidence for what I just said so you guys can like definitely believe me, here are some concept pictures from the Arts of Cars 3 book. Now, these are probably like some of the exact pictures that Disney and Pixar sent Mattel so they could work on their concept for the diecast when it would be released and whatnot. So you can see the Dynaco logo on the spoiler there. 51 is the number instead of 95 on the official version. And you can see like there's another Piston Cup logo there that's not on the new version here and the Dynaco logo on the spoiler, of course. And if we flip back a couple pages here, you can also see this concept here that shows 51 as well. And there's like some Dynaco stuff on there as well. You guys get the idea. So that was like an original idea. But what seems to have happened is Cruz Ramirez got like all of that treatment. She got the 51 number and the Dynaco sponsorship where it seems like an original idea was for McQueen to get those things. And I find that very interesting and would be really awesome if someday they came out with that idea in like full details and everything because it sounds really cool and maybe it would have been better for the movie, but we won't know until they actually reveal it to us. I clearly think that they thought it was going to be worse and that's why they went with this Rusty's and 95 paint job. All right, that's enough about the appearance. I just wanted to clear that up because like I said, it caused a lot of confusion. Like people are thinking there are two versions out in stores. No, no, no. The Dynaco version is not ever going to be made because it didn't actually appear in the movie. All right, anyway, now let's talk about his releases. So obviously as a single, that's out in stores now. Also out in stores now is a two pack with Fabulous McQueen and the regular McQueen as well, labeled Cars 3 McQueen. So this is actually a great thing because it gives collectors kind of a second chance to get him as well, or just another way because like I said earlier, I just keep saying it, he is so amazing that he is going to be so popular and rare collectors are just going to scoop him up and so you're definitely going to have at least a little bit of a hard time finding him. But now that he's being released two different ways, it makes it just a little bit easier. Unfortunately though, so far, people have only found this two pack at Toys R Us stores in the United States. It was also available on Mattel.com about like three weeks ago for around eight bucks, but it has been out of stock now ever since. It was in stock for a very, very short time. But yeah, anyway. He is going to be very rare, so definitely pick him up when you can. And so I believe that's all for his releases. I think there was one other thing that I wanted to mention, but I just forgot about it. Darn it, I forgot. But yeah, single, two-pack. I'll put a picture on the screen of the two-pack. I probably already did. All right, I think we're all good now. Actually, he might be in a like five-pack exclusive to online places like what's it called, Amazon and Mattel.com as well. I think he will be, unless he got replaced or something. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, enough talk, let's just get into the review. First off, I love, love the expression. I have to say, I like it more than this expression, even though it's very similar. You can actually tell that the mouths are different. I feel like that's the biggest difference. You can see that the mouth is like taller and yet shorter there. And if you look at the eyes very closely here, you can see that the eyebrow is more like level. It dips down a little bit there. 
The one on the regular version kind of like has a much steeper curve up. So I like that. I feel like such a subtle change right there made him look so much better. Like this expression, it's grown on me, but it's definitely one of my least favorite expressions on the queen. I also like the expression more than the super determined expression on Rusty's Racing Center McQueen as well, even though that was an improvement over this McQueen here. I really do like the expression on Fabulous McQueen. I'm glad that they nailed it for him because it's such an awesome paint job. On the hood, obviously, he has a classic Rusty's logo there. And I like how it's super classic. It looks old style because you can see on the Cars 3 version here, you have like the circle logo there with all the other information. On the Rusty's Racing Center version, it's like the next gen modern version where it's gold. I like this, very retro classic. He has his two iconic lightning bolt stickers on either side there. Headlights, I love the red rims because it really breaks up all the blue on him. I mean, it's a lot of blue, so the red really looks good on him. Of course, it says fabulous Lightning McQueen right there, I like that. He has the Lightning McQueen text there on the roof edges as well. 95 in all four corners, which mimics Doc Hudson, and we'll get to that in a couple moments here because he is obviously based on Doc Hudson. Again, I don't want to get into too much about that because it goes into spoilers. On the back here, you have 95 in yellow there with the orange trim, and there's the gas cap. Rusty's on the spoiler. I like that very much. On the back here, you have Rusty's, and you have the horn decal, which again mimics Doc Hudson. 95 and just the best thing right there for Doc Hudson. I love that so much. That is just amazing. And it really just kind of like, I don't know, it really makes the movie. And if you guys have seen the movie, you might know what I'm talking about and how like the movie, the whole movie was for Doc Hudson and Paul Newman. And there's also the Rusty's logo there. On the base here, you just have the typical stuff. Nothing too special. All right, so that's it for him alone here. We're going to do some comparisons here first with the obvious one, Doc Hudson, because he based his new paint job here on Doc to honor him. So first off, you can see the blue, obviously. It's a little bit darker on Fabulous McQueen, but still blue nonetheless. And this is the Cars 3 Doc Hudson, by the way, that I reviewed. Of course, mine's an air and does not have the dirt around the fenders, so hopefully I can get another one relatively soon. Obviously, the Fabulous Lightning McQueen font and the layout of the leathers and the wording there is very similar to how it was on Doc. Like, the Fabulous and then the first word is in white and then McQueen and Hornet are in yellow. You can see some other decals that are similar. 51 in all four corners there. You can see the 95 there. The white text saying Hudson Hornet there versus Lightning McQueen nowadays. You guys get a nice little reflection there, I'm sure. And here is that Hudson Hornet logo, kind of like the, I don't quite know how to describe that, but this thing, we'll just call it this thing right here, is the same on the bumper of McQueen, which I really do like, very much so. So that's pretty much it for the similarities. You can just really see that McQueen based himself off of Doc to really honor him, which is very nice to see. The numbers are even like the same places as well, 51 and 95. Awesome stuff. I really wanna know what they were going with having McQueen sponsored by Dynaco and number 51 because clearly that storyline went to Cruz. I mean, look at her there. And just to do kind of like a three-way comparison here, Wow, that's an awesome shot, guys. That is an awesome shot. Let's break it up a little bit so the yellow's in the middle there. Awesome, wow. That is an awesome shot right there. All right, so we're going to put them in the background. Now let's compare him to a couple other Blue McQueens because we really have not gotten that many Blue McQueens. Here is the Dynaco McQueen. This is an actual Dynaco McQueen when he was you know, daydreaming in the first Cars movie. The Blues are entirely different, but I still want to show them together. It'd be kind of cool if someone made a custom Dynaco Fabulous Lightning McQueen using this, but probably won't be for a while just because of how hard this is to get. So you'd have to, you know, pretty much just find one that you're willing to strip down and use as a custom. Here's the Blu-ray Lane McQueen, which is pretty much a metallic version of Dynaco McQueen. But the colors are a little closer. Cool stuff, cool stuff. 
I really do like Blue Rain McQueen, by the way. I love, like, the purple coloring. Now, if you'd like to see my review of him, it'll be in the description below. And just to compare him to these other Lightning McQueens. Now, he is the same model, like the newer McQueen model, the thinner and longer version versus the older one that was a little bit, like, chunkier, I guess you could say, which I don't know why they changed it. It doesn't make any sense to me, but, oh, well. I'm just going up and grabbing the old McQueen. Here it is. I have like a shelf behind me, so that's why you might hear me like get farther away when I go and grab something because I'm just kind of lifting up a little bit. But there you go. There's a little comparison there. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for my review here of Fabulous Lightning McQueen. Before we end off, though, here is the Mini Racers Fabulous McQueen. If you'd like to see my review of this little guy, you can check out the description below. And they are very cool looking together. And let me know if this is like one of your favorite McQueens ever. Is it in your top five? Because I think it's in my top five, if not just like the first one. I really have to just take a look at all the McQueens and decide, but he's definitely up there. Just an absolutely gorgeous, amazing McQueen. It really like serves a nice like point to the movie because of how like special and memorable it is for Doc Hudson. And I guess I should. I kind of forgot about this. Sorry guys. Do a little comparison here between the Disney Store version and the Mattel version. Mainly the expressions are different. The coloring is a little different as well. But all the decals are the same. So how are you guys doing today as I do a little 360 of these two? I'm doing well. Today is Monday, the day that I'm recording this. And since the country club is closed, I don't have work. So I can just kind of do videos. And I got in a nice package today. So I have a lot of things to review. I have, you can see back there, the fabulous, or what am I even talking about? I'm just enthralled with fabulous. The San Diego Comic-Con 3 McQueen pack right there, so I'll review that. Obviously, I have Taco to review as well, and I have some really other awesome stuff, like Jimmy Cables here. I have these two guys as well, Dirks and Diego Stino, and... T.G. Castlenut. I blanked out on his name there for a second. So these are some amazing new Piston Cup racers. I'll definitely be reviewing them in the next couple days. Actually, just let me know which one you want me to review first. They'll all have their own separate videos. So yeah, just comment below. I want you to review Jimmy Cables first because I said that because I legitimately think people will want me to review him first and then probably Trunk Fresh and then Revolting. That's my guess because that's how I would do it personally. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time for another one. Bye now.